Okay, hello. So I'm Marco Malia from the uh, Hospital Clinic in Barcelona. I will be presenting this work on digital staining on focal microscopy through deep learning, which is a joint collaboration with the Polytechnic University uh, of Catalonia. So first of all, what is uh, confocal microscopy? So confocal microscopy uh, has a lot to do with uh, histological imaging in the sense that both techniques are used to obtain uh, images of uh, tissue samples and then these images can be used to perform diagnosis. Um, both devices can obtain similar resolutions. They can go up to cellular level resolutions and they expose similar structures in the tissue. But there's also a lot of differences, uh, mainly uh, regarding to the uh, speed of, of obtaining these images. Um, a histology, uh, histology scanner needs uh, some preparation in the samples. Basically, to prepare a samples, it takes from 30 minutes to one to two days. Um, when you are comparing that to the confocal microscopy, you can obtain a, a scanning of a tissue in three minutes with the confocal microscope. So this is great because that way you can perform rapid evaluation of tissue samples <coughs> directly in the surgery room. Um, however, there's also some other differences, basically regarding to the visual aspect of the, the microscopy slides. So this means that uh, our pathologists in the hospital need to undergo a specific training to learn how to interpret these images and to perform diagnosis with a confocal microscopy. Um, so uh, the output of the confocal microscopy, uh, of our commercial version at least of the confocal microscope, um, consists of two images, the fluorescence image and the reflectance image, which is uh, in fact polluted with speckled noise. And our objective is to propose uh, some kind of architecture to transform these two images and combine them to produce another one which is similar to the histology domain so that our pathologists can uh, diagnose directly on these other images instead, instead of having to learn on the confocal domain. So basically what we have is uh, two neural networks. The first one uh, takes care of the speckled noise that is present on the reflectance mode of the, confocal, of the confocal microscope. And then we have a stain generative neural network which will combine the uh, denoised version of the reflectance mode and the fluorescence mode to form the histology image. Um, so a speckled noise is uh, basically a kind of noise which is multiplicative to the input, input signal. So what we are doing is basically training a fully convolutional neural network uh, with a skip uh, multiplicative connection so that the neural network can learn the inverse of the speckled noise and can produce a clean image at its output. Um, and then we are using uh, cycle GANs uh, to transform from, to, to combine this uh, fluorescence mode and reflectance and denoise reflectance mode into the histology domain. Uh, basically, we're using a uh, ResNet generator and a patch GAN discriminator, but if you want more details, we can discuss uh, it afterwards. So these are some qualitative results. The first row is the confocal microscopy images, which have been generated using this architecture that, that I just described. And the bottom row is real samples from the histology domain. Um, our pathologists have already been starting to work with these samples and they are saying they can identify structures in the, in the transformed confocal microscopy uh, samples that they can potentially use to perform diagnosis. But of course, since uh, GANs are prone to hallucinate and to have artifacts, we are performing diagnostic evaluation of this method before having it deployed to the clinical practice. Um, so that's all. If you have any questions, you can come visit me at my poster. Thanks.